Hello and welcome back. So this is a tutorial follow-up on the tutorial I did on the Galaxy Nebula. And what this is going to be for is I was looking through some actual pic pictures of a Galaxy Nebula or Aurora Borealis. And what I noticed that was different about the one that I created was that has more than three colors and the blur is different on it so in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a more realistic one so let's get started so so the first thing I'm going to do is just like the other one create a new layer and here's a little Photoshop tip for you always use something on a different layer so that's all I'm gonna say and now it's on the gradient tool instead of grabbing this one right here I'm gonna grab this one right here I'll zoom in so you can see it this one so I'm gonna grab that one and I'm going to draw from straight up and down from the top a little bit crooked to the bottom like that and now add a layer mask just like the other one filter render clouds and now go to filter blur and now instead of radial blur motion blur and distance of 175, angle 65, and press OK. And there's that. So you can do the same thing. Drag this into another document. The only thing is if you drag it into a illustration, make sure if it ends up like this, all you'd have to do is resize it by, press, by using free transform, moving it around and pressing enter and just if you're dragging to a different picture make sure you can't see the score edges so or you could I guess you could go like this and if you see the square edges make sure you go to filter blur Gaussian blur and blur that except then kind of messes up the whole thing so I wouldn't do that but anyway hope oh, this was a tutorial on how to make a more realistic galaxy nebula or aurora borealis and thanks for watching